is schizophrenia enough to get a convicted felon off death row? Tim Kaine in Virginia seems to think so. They do it all the time. So you think it's right? Can't say for sure. It depends on the situation, case by case. I don't. I don't try to second second guess politicians. You never know what they're going to do or why. It's, they have their own motives. I think it. I think it's right since he's just schizophrenic, not to you know to take him off death row. You know, I think it's right to just give him the life sentence. You know, I mean, it's not like his life's going to get any better. I mean, he's going to be in jail for the rest of his life. So. Well, it's the same thing. If they go to trial for criminally insane, they go to insane asylum. They don't go to jail. So, I mean, no, I I don't think that's right. I actually had a sister that was murdered in 1980, mm -hmm. and the guy got seven years. He's mentally ill. He don't know what's going on. I can be fought for it. Still, they need to, like, I don't know, I guess make the decision right the first time before they, like, change their mind. I think it'd just be like everyone else would kind of be ticked off, like, oh, you can get out of it, but probably a, a lot of other people aren't going to be schizophrenic and just get off like that, so. The um, life sentence is tough enough, you know, and then to face the death penalty, I mean, that, that's just hard, so. It's kind of be tough to like live like, the rest of your life in jail because everyone else will be mad at you. So. For this one, it all boils down to where you stand on the line as far as the death penalty. Where are you? With WMAL Street Talk, I'm Jen Richer, 630WMAL.com.